Hello, I'm Baby and this time I show you how I use leftover paint for my art journal pages. So when I create paintings, I usually end the session so that I have some leftover paint on a palette. And then I don't want to waste that paint and I use that for making art journal pages. I like Dilution's creative journals because they are really sturdy and I don't have to worry about breaking them. This time I show you my black square uh, Dilution's creative journal. This is quite small, but uh, if you make the whole spread, it's fairly, fairly big. So the size hasn't bothered me so much. So in this video I show work that is not, how would I say, premium content or such. I, I show things that are not finished and uh, some pages are, but uh, many of them are not. I hope this kind of video also inspires you to create, because I think that sometimes we think that uh, artists only have uh, finished paintings but in my case at least I have all kinds of messes in my journals. So there can be pages that are quite finished like this one or then I've just used masking tape to make this one look a bit more finished. That's a good tip. Just put masking tape so that it frames the work and it looks more finished. Then again I have a second pair more finished work and then just painting flowers quickly and and uh, trying to figure out how to paint next flower paintings. Then I also have empty pages and I quite like this setting that I have a finished work over here and then a page that could be inspired by that piece. I made a class called Decodashery which um, explores decorative painting and I painted this to practice that kind of painting style. And again, another practice for the decorative painting style. I love old Russian hand-painted plates and if you look at the painting behind there, that's also inspired by the old Russian hand-painted floral plates. Again, this one I made as an exercise for decodashery class. Again, very detailed and decorative painting. But, but on this page I could make something that's much more loose and much more abstract. I like that tension uh, that was uh, perhaps shown in this spread where I have more figurative work here and then more abstract work on the other page. Again, decorative style painting inspired by fabrics and golden jewelry. I love all kind of luxurious things. Then I have an abstract. On this page I could make something that's more decorative because I think that it could be fun to pick some details here and then make, for example, flowers on the, on the other page. And then I often paint in oils. These, what you saw uh, so far, were in acrylics, but I also create oil paintings like that one uh, in the background. I'll show you that. That one has been made in oils. So I've also used leftover oil paint and uh, built this bread from from there and as you can see uh, the page glows because oil paint is much more shiny than acrylics. The problem with oil on paper and the problem in oil compared to acrylics is that oil dries much more slowly. I had to keep the book open for a week or so before adding next layer or before closing it. So it's not as handy as acrylics, but actually oil painting, I find it much easier than acrylic painting because you can wipe off the paint easily and it doesn't dry 
once you set it on the paper. You can still work with the paint on the next day. And it's really easy to get all kind of really uh, detailed, um, how would I say, smooth details that uh, can be seen there. The really smooth uh, of the details because it's so easy to paint smoothly in oils. This also is quite decorative, but then I have much, much looser messes on this journal. For example, this one is much more loose and I don't know if I add more there or if I just leave it as it is. And again, much looser piece, just fl some flowers. Could put some more colors there because it's now quite monotone, but well, Time will tell. So I sometimes continue uh, painting uh, with the leftover paint and sometimes I just start a new one. Depends on the mood. Then I had some golden leftover paint and uh, just made a mess there. And I think this will be lovely when I add some darker colors on the top of it. So these are just messy is again just a floral mess and some dark and white and playing with the with the strong contrasts then a bit more decorative maybe a bit more modern and i quite like this as it is i think it's like a design more than an expressive painting different styles lots of fun to play and try them on this little journal. Then I have an abstract spread that I've been painted a few times and I've also practiced my signature there. My plan is to add some flowers and I think that now when this is really masculine and strong and it could really be beautiful to add some really delicate flowers and some really thin stems there. So I'm planning on working more of this. And then just gradients and some flowers, uh, thinking about how a light and flowers hit. And I often take photographs uh, of this kind and, and I also wanted to try to paint it Speaking of photographs, I don't often use photographs or I rarely use photo photos when I paint, especially when I paint these messes. I just paint from my imagination. So again, floral piece that needs more details. And I quite like this phenomenon that I've closed the book too soon and there's some smudges on the opposite page. It might happen that I start growing this and let it conquer this and make this more loose. Again, some leftover paint wiped over motifs. And again, quite a mess. It's, it's actually quite a terrible mess if you look at it closely. But when I uh, turn a bit further away, it doesn't look so bad. Let's see, just a few little details could help. Then I have just uncontrolled messes that sometimes, you know, when I end the painting session, I'm so tired, I don't have any time or energy to create anything particular. So I just wipe over the paint and then slowly the image starts to come up. This is an example how I've made just like that. And then I've just painted a few details so that it actually looks pretty finished. And I, I quite like this. The colors are lovely and there's enough detail. I show you the process how I finished this. So you get to see the mess and how I put all the little things there. What did this need to make it look more finished?
then I have one more page that's just paint. And here you can see there's a um, lovely gradient there. And I'm really inspired of this. Sometimes you just accidentally get things like this. Just black background, then just lovely white paint that gradually changes. And I feel that there's already a landscape coming up. I hope you found this video inspiring and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my weekly emails. I have new content in my blog every week, but it's not always videos. There are tips and stories in my blog and when you subscribe, you get a free mini course called Paint the Emotion. It's 40 minute video full of tips on how to paint so that your emotion comes true. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.